Hey, what is up, VCG Gamers? My name is Josh, and first thing I want to do is shout out my buddy, Lumi. He came in my Discord and completely helped my whole channel out. Thank you so much, from audio to logos to everything. Thank you so much, Lumi. I appreciate you, buddy. Now, let's go into what today's video is. How to increase your BP. So we're going to go straight into it right away. No delays, let's just get straight into it. First thing you're going to want to do to check your BPs is go to your hero rating. Make sure you guys go in here and challenge it. Make sure all your hero ratings are challenged as high up as you can. Doing so will increase your BP naturally. This is an overall account increase. So make sure you come in here and do your BP based off your new heroes. You're not so good. Like just This is going to be helpful for just leveling up all your main characters. It's going to get higher BPs. You should go back and probably level some of your other ones up. I need to myself. And this will increase your BPs. Getting these stars will increase your BP by quite a lot. You'll also get some coins as well for hitting checkpoints. So that is your first way of increasing your BP. Your second way of increasing BP outside of gear, we're not doing gear, we already did gear, is going to be going into your hero, going into it and checking your chips. Oh, those are cards. Chips. So the things you want to do for stats, there's a very important stat you want to look for. Whatever typing your character is, whether it be power, speed, or tech, you want to make sure you have at least one of those on your chips. Now, I would recommend trying to get speed on at least two chips or three of your chips if possible because this will be the best increase to your overall BP. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect. As you see, this one's got crit, decrease, penetration, and technical. I need to replace this for speed, right? But this other chip is damage, decrease, damage, increase, crit resistance. This one, I'm going to keep this one for now. Uh, I could run this one because this would technically increase my BP more if I max it out. The thing is, I will be losing crit damage and crit rate, and this is more for a BP game than it is overall game. So make sure if you do do this, try to get it off. Like this is like a god roll: crit, pen, speed, and the crit resistance. The only thing I'm missing is crit rate, right? So try to get that on your stats. Try to go for your main stat on your chips, and that will increase your BP overall. Into the next wave, increasing your BP, R leveling up cards that you're going to keep on your character. For example, if you're rocking an unconscious monster, make sure you max it out. If you don't plan on not using it for example if this is a level 2 breakthrough mastermind i max it out because it's going to increase these stats right here and it's going to increase my bp it won't not, it won't increase these stats but still this is a e bp increase either way for the purple ones it's really up to you i'm mm, if i were to upgrade it and just hit a quick upgrade i could but i'm saving these i, I don't know if i should I don't, i'm not going to recommend you guys level up your purple cards unless they're like must haves character slots right so tread carefully that one and the last way you can increase your beep well there's two other ways maxing your skills out is one way i'm pretty sure a lot of you know that and then the other way is doing your talent trees if you have a main character out there that you adore try to max it your talent trees you're going to be maxed here this is like once you do both your uh paths and you max out your last path it's going to be stuck here if you ss them whenever you ss them you can unwaken this next tree and when you unlock that next tree, you'll get another thing down here that's going to increase your BP overall. It's going to be expensive, but you can get another increase that way. And then the last way to increase your BP from just your heroes alone is going to be going to your affinity and doing your affinities. Now, what this is going to do is you feed them these materials. I can't max them out right now to level 5, but it's going to go to your stats. So I'll just give you an example. At level 1, you get 10, 10, 60, 20, 20, 120, uh, 30, 30, 180, 40, 40, 420. And then the one I'm trying to unlock where I'm at right now is 50, 50, 300. And my next one should be this one, 60, 60, 360. You're getting a huge power gap. Like This is an awesome amount of BP for your character. I would recommend only in your main characters. You go in there and you try to unlock this out because it's expensive, but you can do it. All right, guys, I think that's the best way to increase your BP outside your gear. I already did the gear assessment way, but I will show you it just in case you weren't there for that video. If you go to your gear. You see all these gear stats, you're going to want to make sure you enhance it, you boost it, you modify it, and then to fuse it, you take all these pieces. Uh, and then, for example, if I were to do this, oops, well, if I were to remove this, put these, if I were to do four boots, this would guarantee me boots. So just for the record, make sure you check your stats and make sure before you do that, you go to your stats and you transfer any stats that might actually have value. I've already done it. This one's got 27 penetration. Uh, this has got defense, crit damage. I don't really need penetration in this, but if I were to, it would probably replace attack let's see yeah i could do it like that but that attacks like max stat, so i don't really want to replace it so just make sure you have yellow purple just make sure all your stats on your gear that you're wearing are as high as they can go for the current gear that you're at yellow is highest purple second or yellow is highest 
and then orange, purple, blue, green, white, etc. Uh, make sure you go there and you transfer your stats before you break your stuff down and or and or sell it. Just make sure all your stats are where you want them. And before you fuse your gear, make sure you transfer all your stats to another piece of gear that can just be a folder for that gear. So whenever you upgrade from, let's say, level 50 to 60, you can take that gear stats and transfer it over. But I'm pretty sure you can do that. Yes, you can. So just be warned. Make sure whenever you change your gear pieces, you transfer over your power gear. Uh, and that's going to be it, guys. It's going to be how you increase your BP. We went through the hero ratings. We went through, uh, what else did we do? Cards, ships, affinity, skills, tree, talent trees, and like we came back around the gear. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit the like, comment, subscribe, join the Discord if you have any questions about increasing your BP or any other questions about My Hero Academia, the strongest hero. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm Josh, and I'm signing off. Peace.